Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back with more Baldur's Gate 3. Today on Baldur's Gate 3, we're going to finish exploring the Goblin Encampment. We're probably going to check out... There's a few areas we haven't explored if you look around, like over here. We haven't looked about in this area. We haven't looked to the north of Riverside Tea House. So I think today we're going to finish clearing the map a little bit. And then we're going to return to Emerald Grove to turn in the Save the Refugees quest and turn in Rescue Halsey quest. So without further ado, let's get started once I get my timer going. We're going to try to make this episode around 30 minutes like the previous episodes have for before. Because uh, the last two episodes have been about, you know, 50 minutes long. But pretty, pretty long. Um, so there's a wooden chest over here I noticed. Gonna lock Simple. like that. There's guidance, just for practice. Oh, hey, we hold the chest, so yeah, didn't need it. Okay, let's see what's in here. Glowing shield. Once per short rest, you you if you are below 50% hit points and take damage, you gain eight temporary hit points. That's that's cool. Alright, so let's go back this Light way. There's a rock we can climb up here. Let's see what's up there. There's an archway we can climb across. I never noticed this in my paladin run. Hold on, what's over here? Yeah, what is this? All the way over here. Is there like a mound or something? No, there's a skeleton loot. The Sylvan Stone and 120 gold. Wow, that's that's a lot. A lot of gold and a hand axe. Don't really need that myself. Okay. Actually, let's take all of that if it'll let me or not. No, don't talk to the person. Okay, cool. Petasterian. Oh look, some sleeping goblins. Like I wonder what we're going to do. Practically unconscious. Well, I'm out of third level spells. Can I hit all of them with a moonbeam? I can hit two of them with a moonbeam. Okay. A better position. Starion. Should probably opened with a Starion now that I think about it and had him sneak attack. Yeah, that would have been smart. Oh, yep, here they come. Jumping on up. <laughs> Missed, but tenacity. Lately. <laughs> nice, 14 damage. Halo of spores. Cool, that one's down. Oh, and there's two more over there. Okay, so there's a couple goblins I didn't get, huh? Another bug there. Miss, but two damage from tenacity. Good morning star is now massive. It uh, allows them to do damage based off of their strength. Uh, where is Shadowheart in all this? Oh, she's there. Okay. She just rolled poorly on initiative. Do we just mace this guy? Yeah, one. Seven damage. Anyone need healing? No. Actually, a study on is going to take care of this bugbear for us. With an offhand attack, don't really need to be done. Ooh, but you missed. All right, fine. Main hand it is. Cool. Down you go. A teddy bear. Okay, now I kind of feel bad. All right. We're going to move our booty. Okay. Then we're going to jump on down. Oh, Ow, we three damage. Okay. Okay, that one's down. Stay focused. Mmm, sacred flame. Oops, save. Okay. Oh. <sighs> 
Okay, you're gonna have to dash. Let's move. Oh, Moonbeam damages allies. That's good to know. Let's cancel Moonbeam then. Okay. Oh yeah, some more loot. I don't think there is much else over here. Now so there is one me. other optional that will that quest. That, okay, this is another way into the. You need the bludgeoning damage. Oh, I see. Quite ready Get for out. you. You need the fire damage. I see. My faith will guide me. A wall that's immune to bludgeoning damage. That's rare. Uh, no. All right. Well, we're just gonna ignore it. That's not all that, that blood? prioritized because no, we've already mind. been inside the goblin encampment. We've already killed the all the goblins. Me. I just wanted to see what was up here. There should be a burrow hole somewhere. Thought that was it. No. All right. We'll just go back there manually. So yeah, taking a look at all this, I think we got. There's a chest over there. That would require a series of jumps. Can't target too far. Let's head over to this ladder, grab this loot over here, and then I'm going to head back to Emerald Enclave. And we're gonna, well, Emerald Grove, and we'll turn in the quest. And then we'll do a little more exploration of our surrounding areas. And I have to do a lot of selling, and I might end up doing that this episode. Um, I'll try to do that after episodes. Paintings sell for quite a bit of gold, from what I remember. Oh, did we ever loot the uh, chest back there that we saw? We did not. Oh well. Eh, probably didn't have anything useful in it. All right, I think that's everything. Well, let's teleport back to Emerald Grove. Uh, there's an area over here by the looks of it that I can jump, jump to. Over at the mountain pass. That looks like it goes back to the mountain pass though. Yeah, let's go ahead and just teleport back to Emerald Grove and pick that up. And we'll take a short rest. Time to get going. Because we'll be taking a long rest here in a second for a cutscene. So all of this triggers a series of cutscenes, if I remember right. Open up, please. Knock, knock. Thank you. Okay. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Nah, you can keep your coin, bro. Very good of you. Thank you. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. We'll see you there. All right, so there's going to be a big party at the camp later. That's cool. Um, yeah. So let's go through some of this loot. That wears. That goes to Starion. At where's send faith breaker to camp for now? Where's where's send to camp? Where's uh water sparkers? We're gonna send to camp. Gloves of missile snaring. Let's hold on to that for now. And those to wares. Amulet and Misty Step. I don't think very many of us have amulets yet. Let's give the Amulet and Misty Step to Asterion so we can teleport around the battlefield easier. Oh no, he already has something. 
Oh, don't provoke opportunity attack. Okay, what about Shadowheart? She's got to speak with Dead Amulet. Don't really need her to have that. I'm gonna send that to camp. Scroll of Grease to my good friend Gail. Boots of Aid and Comfort. Boots of Striding. Okay. Hold on to that for now. Yeah. Okay, that should clean up her inventory. Cool. Yes. Gail, you got anything? No. Good. Uh, you've got stuff. Add all that to wares. Add to wares. Padded armor. Yeah, we'll add that to wares as well. Stuffed bear and tongs. Okay. Quick step. Go sell stuff. None of this is stealing. Is there anything in any of this that's worth it? A quick rummage. Think of opening a cart in Baldur's Gate. A cart? Like on the street? Exactly. Ooh. Money and help potions. Money and help potions. For them. Common folk. A cart sounds fine. But do I have to haul it around? You know, I never talked Until to Roland after finishing Goblin I need to dispatch camp. those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. Oh, okay, that's all they say. Okay, let's go find Halcyon. Uh, let's talk to Aaron, really? sell a bunch of stuff. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. I want to trade if you have anything good. Of uh, course. Why is it showing Asterion? Is I... Am I on the... Oh, I'm May on the wrong character. Keep no, that's why. Hold All on, right, Montes. You're in charge. So it's true. You s Of course. Want to trade. Sell wares. Sell wares. Sell wares. All right, that gave us a pretty penny to work with. Not really see anything we need. I wanted to check to see if he's got any potions of healing, though. Yeah, there we go. Cool. May go you on keep talk balancing. Time to press ahead. Is Damon still here at his forge? No, it looks like he's not. Okay, we'll catch up with him in Act Two. Yeah, none of the kids are here either. Okay. I thought I had been a good teacher to you. Clearly not. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halcyon. I am so short. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's all. She tried to imprison a child. You'll have your hands full with her. She shows great spirit, to put it mildly. No need to be so harsh. Kaga out of, acted out of concern. You were too lenient. There's bad blood between tieflings and druids because of her. Druid, is such mercy wise? She's strayed from your teachings once already. I'm gonna go with that. She knows now what cavorting in the shadows brings her. She will not stray again. Besides, 
This is no time to lose a promising druid. You yeah, will fair. soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Okay, speak to Wrath. Got it. Uh, the grove is nature's beating heart. I was glad to save it. If only you had come to this place in more peaceful times. You'd have been a welcome addition. Uh, what happens the next? The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. Okay. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Okay, sounds good. Let's go find, uh, what did you say, Rawl, I think? To get our reward? Rawl should be... Jerona. Who's Jerona? I don't remember Jerona from anywhere. Who are you? I wasn't sure about you at first. Oh, you're the other Druid you who tried to kill trouble. me earlier. That's right. I was very wrong. Well, I'm glad you thought you were... You, you feel bad about what you tried to do. Thank you. We are looking for... Wrath. Wrath. Wrath? Wraith? You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. It was not. But it made me a lot of money. Uh, for someone like me, it was pretty simple, actually. Think nothing of it. I'm glad Halcyon is safe. It was, it was a hell full of blood and ash. Uh, I think nothing of it. I'm glad Halcyon is safe. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward. Didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Ooh, there's a catch of Place goods? it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. There's a vault? What? I didn't do this part with my paladin. And then he we just were... left. I don't know. I just didn't do this part sure with my paladin. Uh, rune of the wolf. Take it to the library. Okay, is this the library over here? There are two wolf statues. Enclave tenants. No, maybe this isn't it. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Grove artifacts. Pouch. Okay, yeah, I don't think this is it. Master Halson is past his prime. It might be time for another. I'm no fan of those devils either, but they're leaving. Hey, the bird is up and flying again. Let's go. Rune of the Eagle. Empty socket. Okay. Let's take the rune we got. Okay, now what? Okay, that glows. What about this? Okay, okay. Neat. Oh, oh. What? What? What is this? I never did this with my paladin, so uh, I have no idea what's going on here, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go down the stairs. Hidden vault. Okay. Sorrow. What is this? A glaive. Okay, does a d10 slashing. Sorrowful lash. Pulls the creature closer to you. Oh, this might be a really nice weapon for Karlak or Lazelle. Let's send that to camp. Does everyone What's have next? gloves that are magical? You don't. Elminster's not you around. Do. So it might as you well. do. Okay, let's, let's give going. the gloves a missile snaring to Shadowheart. A long way to go still. To do. Um, yeah, okay. Still have a bunch of stuff to sell, but that's okay. Sorrow, huh? That's pretty cool. I never saw that before. Alright. Uh, before this becomes a very long episode, let's head back to 
camp. Huh, that's intriguing. What's in these wooden trunks though? Oh! Grants resistance to cold damage. Oh, that might be useful for like an early monk to use. Spell scroll. Poison. And potions. Secret societies of the Sword Coast. The Harpers, the Shadow Druids, the Order Clurred. Huh. I've never heard of that one. Dark Justice Years. Alright, let's return to camp. Should be party time now. Oh, wait. Maybe I need to do this. There we go. There's the party. Let's talk to everybody. Let's start with Carlac. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. Yep. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. Oh, I, you're telling me, girl. And with good potations, too. Are you enjoying yourself? Did you have parties like this in Avernus? I think I've drummed up the card to tell you how much I like you. Enjoy yourself tonight, Carlac. Uh, let's ask her if she's enjoying Fuck herself. yes. I'm celebrating my freedom. And our friendship. And these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Speaking of which, it's something I wanted to tell you. But there's something I think you should no, know. No, I didn't do Carlax act, uh, quest and act one. Hear that? Infernal I'll engine for a heart. I'll have to do it in act two. Let's Don't let me forget that, guys. This is pretty important. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. It also means if I'm heated at all, excited, nervous, scared, I'm way too hot to touch. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'm afraid I just can't get too close. Uh, what does the engine allow you Burn, to do? Burn, baby. As hot as I can tolerate, makes me a beast in battle. Hardly remember what I was like before it. But let's not get into tragic backstories now. It's such a beautiful night. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Uh, and I think I've dreamt of the courage to tell you how much I like you. Enjoy yourself tonight, Carlac. Yeah, enjoy yourself you tonight, too, Carlac. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, what about you, Geex? Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. You sound pretty excited. What about you guys over here? Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland? Hush you. And behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Okay, anyone forward. else interested? Oh, what about these two? Yes. I need to dance! No. No, I need are, to lie are you down. Drunk, Bex? Bex is a little drunk. What about you, Dennis? Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Oh, cool. Thanks. Shari. Or, oh, or turn. turn up. Okay. You're drunk and you don't know. Got it. Uh, what are you up to, Scratch? Not, not much? Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't have to speak with animals on. Amicus animal. Okay, let's try that again, Scratch. I wouldn't mind if you let them stay. Just a thought. <laughs> Scratch wants everyone to stay. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. True, true. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. 
sounds er, fun. I hope you aren't talking about Mr. again. Are you talking about your cat? By a Geron's lost nose. No! Tara is not any cat. <laughs> She's a Tressum. Given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met No, one. I've never met a Tressum. Brilliant creatures. But I'd love to. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. Mm. Given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. She must be very smart to have done all that. What is Tara like? You must have been lonely with only Tara for company. Uh, she must be very smart to have done all that. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. I wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. You're a fine friend, Gail. Don't worry. Druid. She sounds like a fine animal. One I'd be honored to know. Oh, she'll love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. She hates it when anyone does that. You like having your belly rubbed? <laughs> <laughs> We're asking that. No, you know what? I'm not reading the other options. The pleasures I experienced in Mistress Embrace go far beyond the thrill of having one's tummy tickled. I remember once... She took the smallest piece of the weave and made it into... Wait, are you saying... You know what? I think I've clearly had far too much white. And you've had nowhere near enough. I think this is a conversation best held back on. For now. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue... excitement may tip it over the edge. So to speak. Go. So, so that's fair. Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. All right, Gail. I'll, I'll go find some wine. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I don't have any in my inventory. Never mind. I'm just gonna... Just gonna wing well. Uh, let's go talk to... Alfura. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. Ooh. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Any ideas? Mm. Not really. I'm not much of a bard. How about courage? Have you seen this body? Honestly, I'd rather you didn't. If I hear my name in a song, your life is forfeit. Uh, how about courage? Fitting. Classic song material. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. Oh, uh, Lacrissa, how are you? Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Go talk to Halsey. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I thought you might care to have a drink with me. There's other things we could do besides talking, but I'd like to get to know you some more now. Take your own advice. Why don't you go on, mingle a little. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation. Is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Indeed. What about you, Zevlar? How are you doing? You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you. Cool. And is that Mole I see over here hiding in the corner? What are you doing all by yourself, Mole? 
You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Uh, that sounds dangerously close to a compliment. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. <laughs> Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. With the barrels tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Lovely, lovely stuff. You have fun with that, Mole. Uh, Mole, I know you're a child and I'm a gnome, but how tall am I compared to you? Can I get... Oh no, we're basically the same height. Okay, yeah, I am short. I'm very short. <laughs> uh, who else we got here? How about you, Lazelle? How are you doing? I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. Uh, sorry? I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, are you asking for sex? Yes. Sex. A night such as this calls for flesh to feast on. And I have chosen the sweetest. I'm gonna have to say no, Lazelle. I'm, I'm sorry. We hardly know each other. I'm not interested in you like that. I respect your error. Sorry, there are, after all, other spreads before me. Just, no. I will not go long sorry, without girl. pleasure. Maybe, maybe some other time. Yeah, it's not... No. Ah, Asterian, how are you, you doing? You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... Drink. I hate it. This is awful. Is it? Is it? Really? Saving lives is awful? Uh, you did a good thing. Suck it up and enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself? There's a worm in my brain. I'm surrounded by idiots, and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Take his bottle and try the wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. Ooh. See what I mean? No, Awful. that's actually pretty tasty sounding. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Sometimes. What's your idea of a little fun? This had better not mean I want to kill something. We could have fun. We could spend some quality time together. Knowing you, it probably is. Yeah, Don't I'm going to so that. sour. I like a good time as much as anyone. You know, we could always make our own entertainment, darling. No, God. Get a little closer. First so Lizelle and now you. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me get back to you. I'd rather bet a goblin, darling. No, absolutely not. And here I mistook you for Starian someone with bruised. taste. Eh, that's fine. Starian is not my favorite companion but anyways. I'm no, happy he's to the rogue. Kind of got to keep him around. Well, I could always pick up a few levels of bark or something, maybe. All right, Shadowheart. What about you? Well, maybe we'll go talk to Withers and call it... Yeah. Everyone yeah. seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Lazelle? Uh, refugees, me, yourself, Char. Exactly right. With refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd. We did the right thing. Are you worried Char won't approve? Don't get used to it. We just need to clear the path forward. It sounds like the wine is talking. Are you worried Char won't Something approve? Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Char. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? Uh, I'd be glad we to. We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Uh, I'll find you after everyone's turned in for the night. Not keen on sharing with the others. Not tonight. Fair enough. Okay, we've talked to everyone here that I think matters. Oh no, there's Will. He's all by himself. Hold on, let's go talk to Will. My BFF. My devil buddy. What you up to, Will? Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. I, I did. Are you alright? No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a great cloud over the night. That's that must I'm a have caused, devil. Yeah, 
I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. I mean, you don't want you a devil need at your deal party. With a devil. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. Oh god, she gave you a forked tongue too, Will? I'm so sorry. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Come on, you're exaggerating. Not that much has there changed. There are spikes in places there really shouldn't be. <laughs> <clears throat> but off with you this is your day have a dance enjoy the music okay okay uh i wish you were there but i'll respect some time alone piece. beneath the stars and i'll be back to my old self promise okay and still, last but not least withers it's a night to remember oh no you're still talking you've made sure of that yeah yeah all right, Withers, you got anything interesting to say? Fate spins along as it should. That it does. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh, you or don't have anything to say about the party, do you, a Withers? resurrection instead. Uh, okay. Well, with that, I am going to go ahead and click the go to bed button. I think that's everybody for the most part. Yeah, I think that's everybody. I mean, cool. Go to bed. Actually, we're gonna remove. Th this is a night for celebrating. Let's grab more alcohol. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Uh, Shadowheart or Gale? Shadowheart or Gale? Shadowheart or Gale? Um. Um. I've already seen Gale's Your love scenes. We're gonna go with Shadow Heart. Here we what go. What treasures might this night bestow? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Sure. Uh, what do you have in mind besides the bottle? That is, I wouldn't dream of missing it. You think I wouldn't show? Uh, what do you have in mind besides the bottle? That is. Well. To begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Sure, let's see what you got. To victory, to survival, to us, to friendship. To survival. Very practical. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Now tell me something about yourself. Uh -huh. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Okay, what are my options? Uh, something about me. I'm surprised you cared. Share a little memory from growing up in Baldur's Gate. There are other things we could do besides talk. I'll share a memory. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Yeah. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. I'm an introvert, Shadowheart. Uh, yeah, your turn. I'm an introvert. I don't want to talk more. Fail. Oh, come on. I did that. Why? Oh, thankfully the new computer is much better at quick saving. Well, technically it's not a new computer. I just got a new motherboard and that's that's literally the only new part. It's just a motherboard. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Come on. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's try this again. Seven. Don't oh, stop now. Me. The first just like just rolls of this this session, and they're like all failures. <laughs> Great. Thanks, game.
Why? Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Okay, this is this is just this is just annoying. So yeah. Lovely reloading we're having here. So this screenshot is from uh screen something, I don't know, screen cat. Art that art is from Act 2. I'm not gonna click any of the buttons. Stop just now. To... Not just as things why? Getting interesting. This, why? It's not even that hard of a check. This is just making the episode go longer. <laughs> I'm already over the 30 minute mark. Uh, I just want to finish this conversation and save and uh, yeah. Maybe I should just okay. If this this fails, I'm just gonna accept it. How about that? Don't stop now. Oh, there we go. Not just okay. as things are getting interesting. Cool. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. Oh. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. Oh, well, that's a lot of the little things. They're lost to me right now. I'm sorry. Uh, do you think your memories will ever come Perhaps. back? Perhaps. But please, enough about me. Sharing's bad for my complexion. Oh, okay. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Can I, can I snuggle Shadowheart? I don't want to do anything else. I just want to snuggle the poor memory lost lady. I feel bad for her. Oh, hey, we Maybe fell asleep like. on the rock together. The others will be awake soon. And probably with a massive hangover while we're at it. Uh, look into your eyes. The others can wait. I don't want this to end just yet. Uh, let's look into your eyes. They're pretty eyes. What? Uh, you're beautiful. I know. Oh, okay. But you're sweet to notice. Thanks. Thank you for last night. You're welcome. My pleasure. It was just what I needed. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. I'm gonna kiss her. Shadowheart approves. I'm, I'm glad they fixed the uh, gnomes having a hard time kissing people problem. That was a very frustrating bug. Because I like playing gnomes and dwarves and half things. Yay, we're making out on top of a rock. Let's go. Great way to end an episode, right? That didn't hurt, did it? Uh, no. Uh, no. Good to know. It. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Sure. <sighs> All right. I trust you enjoyed Oh god, another cutscene. <laughs> hi, hi Halcyon. How are you doing? It was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. All right, cool. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Indeed. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. Uh, Moonrise Towers it is, then. I'd better make haste. Wait. There's more you need to know. Okay, like what? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. I see. Any who linger are... Twisted by the curse, they become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Hmm. Sounds like I've no choice. I need to find a way through. What do you suggest? The absolute ports tolerate such a place. There must be another way to cure myself. How are you so sure Moonrise is where I have to go? Sounds like I have no choice. I need to find a way You're through. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland. Along the Risen Road or through the mountains. 
Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Oh, I see. Long okay. ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Okay. Aridan and, and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Hmm. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Excellent. Curse. That sounds good. Mm, I'm not saying it, but it sounds like the Underdark is a safer route. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. Oh yeah, certainly. I can Halsey. offer my skills, but my who counsel. Look after the girl. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I guess Roth will look after the girl. Uh, let's go then. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance. It could lead you all the way to Moonrise. May Sylvanas guide us. Cool. And with that, I'm going to call it the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It will greatly help out the channel. Uh, yeah. Uh, in between episodes here, I'm going to go ahead and cast all of our pre-buffs on everybody. And then next episode, we'll go to the Underdark. I think we're going to skip exploring the rest of the Overland. Um, from what I recall, there's not a lot of loot to be found elsewhere, so I think for now we're going to call this the end of the em Emerald Grove area. Thank you guys for watching what has been part one of Act 1. Please leave that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.